Chuck Wagon MTG is sponsored by BC Comics and Games. Hey everyone, thanks for joining us for another great video here on Chuck Wagon MTG. Today we're going to be opening up a fat pack worth of Core 13. Uh, so we've got 10 packs here. Actually, back then it was only 9 packs. Um, but uh, it's not an actual fat pack. We just have the cards worth. So. Uh, but we still got them, and they're fun on the bun to open. So we're going to go ahead and start doing that right now. Now, per usual, with these older sets, uh, our first pack is going to go to our Patreon Build-A-Pack box. Uh, if you're not familiar with that, uh, in the description of the video, you will find amongst the many links we have down there, uh, that one goes to our Patreon page. And uh, the we have a tier, our lowest tier that has it. Uh, it's $10. gets you two packs of standard. Um and then you also get uh, our Build-A-Pack box, where we build you a pack out of our box. Uh, you get a rare a foil, a foil basic land, uh, a common or uncommon worth at least a dollar or more. Then you get 10 common and or uncommon cards. And then in the common slots, we've got seed with extra packs and extra foils and all sorts of good stuff. So, anywho, anything good out of this pack is going to be going into that Patreon Build-A-Pack box. Um... I don't think we get too much in the way of... I'm pretty sure the Flunky's only good if it's foil. Same thing with Unsummon, Sign in Blood. And this is stuff that'll probably go into just the regular uncommon card slot. slot. So, yeah. All right. So, we've got a Crimson Muck Waiter. Uh, we got a Harbor Bandit. Flames of the Firebrand. And we got a Phylactery Lich. Oh, that's unfortunate. All right, so, um, have we got anything in, I'll check these out and see if there's anything of value in there. Uh, I know last time we pulled the uh, Arch Druid or something, put it in there. We'll give it a whirl, we'll check it out, and, uh, and we'll see if there's anything from there that can actually go into that box. I don't want to put garbage in there just to fill the box up. Uh, we try to make it as much of a value as possible. Uh, we've had some pretty good openings in it, and there's some rather expensive... I mean, there's no $200 cards in it yet. Uh, hopefully someday. Hopefully we open something like that. But um, there's still there's some shock lands in there, and there's, uh, there's, there's some good stuff. There's some good stuff. All right. So let's see what we got here. We got ourselves a Healer of the Pride, uh, Prized Elephant, Primal Clay, and our rare is Door to Nothingness. Oh yeah, that's all sorts of fun there. And then we got the Rule Card and the Basic Land. Let's see what kind of other stuff we can get. Something else to consider. Uh, when you sign up to be a patron on our Patreon page, every tier of subscription, uh, or whatever you want to call it, um, has its own discount for our TCG seller page. Uh, because we sell pretty much everything we open to help fund uh, our addiction of opening stuff. Because uh, it gets rather expensive. Uh, so yeah, with every tier you get a higher discount uh, when you buy from us on there. So we got a Talren's Invocation, we got ourselves a Cower in Fear, Jace's Phantasm, and we got a Cathedral of War. I got excited for a second. I'm pretty sure there's another land in here that is worth a little something. I think we had a foil, though. So we got a Beast Token, we got our land, and our foil is... Oh, a Mountain! Well, you know what? That's perfect, because... Uh, Almost, I think, all but the $1 tier, uh, they also get a foil basic uh, in with their cards they get from us on the, on Patreon. So this will go ahead and go into the Patreon box. Foil land. That's kind of a sexy one, too. we got some pretty cool lands in there. got some full art. we got good stuff. It's all sorts of good. Go check it out, I'm telling you. In fact, you know, scroll back through these videos and check out the Patreon. They're all labeled. The Patreon videos videos are labeled. Um, check them out. We got some uh, we got some good stuff that has gone out. All right, we got Ring of Valkas, Ring of Evil Sile, Public Execution, and our rare is Quirian Quirian Druid. All right, did we get another? No. Yeah, we did. Get ourselves another foil. All right, we got a Phyrexian Hulk. Ph 
five, four for six. Eh, it's a foil. We will take it. All right, let's try to hustle through this. I'm already going on to you know, five and a half minutes so far. We don't, we don't want that. We don't want super long videos. So let's see if there's, ooh, Merfolk with the Pearl Trident. Good stuff right there. Good stuff. I, I love me some Merfolk. I really do. Oldest modern deck I have. Oldest as in I've had it around the longest. We've got an Arctic Avon, Mindclaw Shaman, uh, Courtly provoc Provocateur, Provocateur, there we go. And our rare is Ordric, Master Tactician. All right. And we got the Goblin Token. Like I said, this is probably my second favorite out of the Goblin Tokens. First being Scars of Mirrodin. And then, in a whole different category of its own, is the uh, the old Ungoblin Tokens. Uh, those, are, those are absolutely amazing. Uh, I have a small collection of those. All right. Try to keep this in center here. All right, we got Sleep, Dustdale Worm, Sarah Angel, and a Dragon Skull Summit. Shoot all the kind of fun stuff we can get. So far, nothing really hot, but... All right, we got a healer. Oh, I got cards to get knocked over is what we got. We got Healer of the Pride, Dustdale Worm, again, Elixir of Immortality. That's a fun card. EDH Gold. And then our rare is Magma Quake. I don't even remember that thing. Deals X damage to each creature without flying and each planeswalker. Yeah, that seems like an EDH card right there. That's what that seems like. All right, couple packs left. Oh, I'm going too far. Going too far. Sorry, folks. All right, we got a Crimson Muck Waiter, a Ring of Colonia, Frexian Hulk, and our rare is Redirect. Redirect. That was a fun card. Two packs left. Is that? Yeah, it's a make sure it wasn't just a wrapper sitting there. All right. Dark Favor. That was fun. Sign, I love me some Sign and Blood. I really do. All right. We got a Dusk Mantle Prowler. Acidic Slime. That's good stuff. Phyrexian Hulk again. And our rare is a Chroma's Memorial Mythic. All right. Winner, winner, chicken dinner. I will go ahead and take that. Seven, and creatures you control have Flying, First Strike, Vigilance, Trample, Haste, and Protection from Black and Red. That's fun stuff right there. All righty. Well, these packs just got better. Last pack. Let's see if we can top that last one. Goblin Arsonist. I love that card. Bountiful Harvest, not bad either. All right, we have a Furnace Whelp, Primal Clay, Flint Hoof Boar, and our last rare of the video is... Hey, we got a Primordial Hydra, another Mythic. Winner, winner, chicken dinner. I'm going to say it again. That is kind of awesome. I'm, what does this Hydra do? This one is... Uh, enters with X counters on it, double the number of counters on it, and then... It is trample as long as it has 10 or more counters. Okay. Good stuff. And then we got our... Ooh, we did get the Drake token. That's pretty good. All right. Well, um, we didn't start off too strong, but we finished rather well. Let's take a look at what we got. Let's do this in reverse order. So, uh, we got the door to nothingness. Um, this is just EDH shenanigans. Um, trying to think if there was ever, like, a... <laughs> Modern deck that did something with this. I don't think there was, but yeah, essentially you pay two of every color, you tap it, um, and 
target player loses the game, uh, but enters tap, so you got to wait a full turn for it to happen. So um, in EDH, you've got a full turn for everyone else to get rid of you because now you're you know you're the target. So Cathedral of War, um, Exalted, that's kind of a thing. Um, Korean Druid uh, cast a white, blue, black, or red spell. If you cast anything but green, you get a plus one, plus one counter on it. That's fun. Odric, um, I liked him first time around. Though I personally liked him second time around uh, when he came back with all that extra stuff. So uh, we got the Dragon Skull Summit. That just saw a reprint. Magma Quake Redirect. That's just, I love. Let's see if we can zoom in and see if the focus will work. And there we go, yeah. So he's casting it, and then it's chasing him. I've always just loved the art on that. I just, I find it hilarious. Um, oh, and now I just, I have screwed up. There we go. Focus is done. All right, and then we got back-to-back -back mythics. Uh, Akroma's Memorial, Memorial, everything. Your creatures get everything, essentially. Um, you know, I think they don't get hexproof, and they don't get a lifelink. Um... They get so much stuff, though. Uh, and then the next mythic was the Primordial Hydra. Um, I'm going to call that a win right there. We did pretty dang good. Um, well, if you like what you saw here today, do me a huge favor. Click that like button. Hit subscribe. Be sure to share this with your friends, your family, your loved ones, and your pets. Everyone could use a little more magic in their lives. Thank you very much for watching. And as always, you can find us on Facebook, Twitter, and Twitch, Chuckwagon. MTG. Now, if you do me one last favor and check out this brief message about our sponsor. Chuck Wagon MTG is sponsored by BC Comics and Games, now at one mega location to fill all of your gaming and comic needs. They have Magic the Gathering events every night of the week, as well as Warhammer, Pathfinder, Dungeons and Dragons Adventures League, Final Fantasy TCG, Pokemon, and Star Wars X-Wing events all throughout the week. They also have close to 100,000 comics on site. This is why I have personally made BC Comics and Games my home gaming store.